Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my Hero Engine tutorial series. In part two of our water tutorial, we're going to look at adjusting the look of our water, as well as the differences between using either a height map, uh, sorry, not a height map, a cube map, or real-time reflections. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go with color. Um, to adjust the color, you just click this right here, or you can manually punch in a value. And then you just adjust the slider and it will adjust in real time. Give mine a darkish blue color. And obviously water is not um, completely 100% opaque. So we'll put this at 0 0.6. And there you go. You can see our character happily swimming along there. Just kind of bobbing on the surface. Okay. So the next thing we're going to cover over here is whether or not to use a cube map or use real-time reflections. Now while real-time reflections are very nice, uh, they can be quite intensive, um, especially on lower end machines if you overuse them. So we're going to adjust this to river All right, now as you can see we have a rather interesting look now and go down to where you see cube map select it it may take a second to load HE engine clean engine cube maps and we'll choose the sunset then we'll hit OK Alright, so this is, obviously these are uh, stock assets, so they may not be the best things to use. Um, I recommend you make your own, but they do work for the purposes of learning. Now we'll adjust the wave speed, and as you can see our waves are much smaller, uh, sorry, much slower now. You can adjust the wave zoom depth, except a 4. I'm actually going to set it to 1.5 and 1.5. Now all this does is just adjust the scale of the normal map and you can make it really bumpy. For example, set the zoom width to 5 and this to say 10. Doesn't look too bad up close. Alright, if we go back and select our other one you will see that we have near enough the same things, but we also have depth bias, which you can set to 6. And you can see that it doesn't really take into account that we've actually passing through the train. Hit this at 1. All right. And you can also adjust the amplitude. Set it to 0 0.8. You'll create very tiny little ripples that don't look very good. Um, this is one of those things where you kind of have to just play around and tweak until you find something you like. Um, we'll set this to 3, 2.5, and 2.5. Alright, so that concludes this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, stop by the Hero Engine forums, or you can stop by mine as well. As well, you can also stop by my Facebook page, and I will answer questions there as well. Uh, all this is in the description as well. Uh, follow me on Twitter or Facebook if you'd like to keep up to date with when the next tutorial is coming. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you.